guys, welcome to Bex IQ. My name is Abby, and today we are going to be doing part three of how to build a Vex IQ claw block. Last week we had the robot in two parts. So today we're finally gonna finish it off. Last episode, we made it up to step 62. Today, we are going to be starting from step 63. Now, let's get building. Step 63, you'll be needing what we need in step 62. Four single, single pins and two large gears. Attach the single, single pins to the large gears. On the same places on both gears. Then attach the gears to what we made in step 62. So like this. For step 64, you'll be needing what we made in step 63 and three pitch standoffs. Attach the pitch standoffs to the mechanism that we made in step 63. Two like this. Now it's one of the next steps. For step 65, you'll be needing what we made in step 64 and one motor. Make sure that when you if you look at what you, we made in step 64, that you have the shaft pushed in, the one on the right pushed in all the way to the collar, and the one on the left pushed in so it's even with the pitch standoffs. Then attach with your, the black hole that has a square in it to your shaft, and then have the pitch standoffs click in. You have to get them aligned perfectly or it won't go in. You hear the snap, and when you move this side, you should get that satisfying noise. Once it looks like this, you're done with this step. For step 66, you'll be needing one 45 degree angle, one black piece with three holes, middle hole being a square, and two one by one connector pins. Attach the one by one connector pins to the angle. Then attach the piece. Shake like this. Step 67, you'll be needing one miniature L, what we mean step 66, and two double single connector pins. Attach the double single connector, pin, connector pins. <laughs> then attach to the angle. Just click this. For step 68, you'll be needing what we made in step 67. One one by six with an extra hole in the middle. And two double single connector pins. Attach the connector pins like so. and then attach to your miniature L in the mechanism. So you get something that looks like this. For step 69, you'll be needing one single, single connector pin, one single, double connector pin, one, one by four with an extra hole in the middle, and what we made in step 68. Attach 
Attach like this. So it's like this. For step 70, you'll be needing what we made in step 69 and one T connector. Attach like so. Push till you hear a click. For step 71, you'll be needing what we made in step 70 and one corner connector. Attach the corner connector and that's all for this step. For step 72 you'll be needing what we built in step 71 and two double single connector pins. Attach the connector pins to your corner connector and you're done. For step 73, you'll be needing what we made in step 72 and one rubber circle. Take the rubber circle and move it around like this. For this step, you'll be needing what we made in step 62 and one single single connector pin. Attach the single single connector pin and you're done. That's all you need for this step. For step 75, you'll be needing what we made in step 74, one collar, and what we made in step 65. Take what we made in step 74, and attach it, and then put the collar on top. Push it in. Should look like this. Now let's move on to the next step. I would like for you guys to notice that we have done half of our claw bar. If you can tell, this is half of it. So the next few steps are going to be pretty much really similar to the steps we've done previously. So for step 76, you'll be needing one 45 degree angle, two pins, and one one by three that happens to be black with a square in the middle. Attach the pins like so. Then attach your black piece. Just like this. Now let's go on to the next step. Step 77. For step 77, you'll be needing two double single connector pins, one miniature L, and what we made in step 76. Attach the smaller side of the double double. Then attach like so. Click like this. Now let's move on to the next step. For step 78, you'll be needing what we made in step 77. Two double single connector pins and one one by six with an extra hole in the middle. Attach your double singles. Then attach to your mechanism. You should click this. Then let's move on to the next step. For step 79, you'll be needing what we mean in step 78. One, one by four with extra hole in middle, one single double and one single single. Attach the double single and the single single. Then attach your one by four. Should click this. Now let's move on to the next step. For step 80, you'll be needing what we made in step 79 and one T connector. Attach the T connector like so. 
and you're done. For step 81, you'll be needing what we made in step 80 and one corner connector. Attach your corner connector to the whole two holes and you're done. For step 82, you'll be needing what we made in step 81, two and two double singles. Attach your double singles like this and you're done. Step 83, you'll be needing what we made in step 82 and one rubber circle. Attach the rubber circle like so and you're done. Now let's go on to the next step. For step 84, you'll be needing what we made in step 83 and one single single pin. Attach a single single pin like so and you're done. For step 85, you'll be needing what we made in step 75, what we made in step 84, and one collar. Attach. Attach the two mechanisms by putting the shaft in the hole. Make sure they line up perfectly. Then attach your collar. Right now we have finished the claw. Can you imagine that picking something up? So this next step we are going to be attaching the claw to the bot. For step 86, you'll be needing what we made in step 48. One longer shaft, two collars, and what we made in step 85. Run the collar through, then through your first gear in this mechanism. The first gear and then add your collar. pushing, then add your second collar, then once your second collar is added, add this mechanism, keep pushing, Pushing. This is gonna hurt your hand a little, pushing, but it's so worth it to have the best claw by. And you should also make sure that your gears line up. And push through that final hole. Push the shaft in. Try again to make the gears line up, and you're done. Push everything in. You should hear the satisfying sound when you move the claw up and in. For step 87, you'll be needing one super long, cord and what we made in step 86. Attach one side of the cord to your motor here and then go through here and attach it to slot 11. This is very hard. Make sure you push it until you hear the click. I'm gonna have to go from under here just to get it to click in. And it clicked. So that is our claw bot. Take a look at it from all angles. 
So this is the Clawbot. I'm really proud on how it came out. You hear the satisfying noise when you open it or bring it up. Isn't it cool? I'm super excited to write another notebook this week because we finally finished our Vex IQ Clawbot. Let's take a moment to recognize how amazing this achievement is. So, while you guys are subscribing to me on YouTube, following me on Instagram, or sending any Vex IQ questions to my email link down below, I'm going to be writing in my notebook about this awesomeness that we have started. Bye guys! See you next week.